Hello, I'm Dr. Paul, and today we're going to discuss a general overall plan for using plasma energy for restoring and maintaining our health. Now, over the years, being a doctor and a practitioner, uh, I have come to recognize that just because Western medicine does not recognize something as a valid modal modality does not mean that it is not such. I'm speaking specifically of acupuncture. Forty years ago, or maybe even longer, when I start, first started practicing acupuncture, it was really frowned on by the medical authorities and as they looked at it as voodoo or witchcraft. However, now it's recognized as totally valid and there are practitioners all over the United States and the world that use it. And through the years, I've come to recognize that there are a lot of other things out there that we can do for ourselves that are not necessarily recognized as valid by today's medical standards. And so what I'm, what I'm trying to do here is to just establish an overall method for maintaining and restoring, in many cases, a healthful lifestyle because the, what we live in now is, we call it an EMF soup. You're bombarded by electromagnetic frequencies everywhere you go, Wi-Fi and uh, computers, uh, electrical high power lines, Microwaves. <laughs> microwaves and all kinds of things that influence our health that we don't really have any answers for and neither does medical science. And so what I've, I've done is try to just put together a simple, uh, non-confusing way for most people to be able to establish a good foundational basis for maintaining their health. And through my experience of my own issues that I have, I have found out that the use of the plasma energy station on a daily, day in, day out basis gives me a good, solid, foundational basis. And it brings balance. It brings balance to my emotions and to my body. And everything works better. It's just, it seems like a, a cloud of confusion has been lifted and everything seems to be normalized and working much better than it was two or three years ago. And so, so what I'm thinking is that if we establish that basis of a solid foundation, and then if we have other specific issues that need taken care of, such as vision, diabetes in my case, kidney problems, arthritis, we can use specialty formulations of plasma, plasma energy, plasma water, to give us some relief and balance to those specific areas and support the areas that we need help with. And so the, the first thing I would do is use the plasma energy station on a solid, consistent basis 
drink the water all the time, use it for everything, for making soup, coffee, hot chocolate, juices, everything. And then after a while, two, three weeks, a month, when you feel you're getting some balance and you see other issues that need addressing, then you can get some specialty items and start to use those for special problems such as vision or diabetes, arthritis, things like that. Now, you're going to have the question, but it costs too much. I can't afford it. Well, there's an easy way to get around that. And that is get three or four of your neighbors, friends, relatives, whoever, people in the same club with you in this, that play cards together, whatever, all go in together. All of this energy is duplicatable. You can take what you get from us, duplicate it, and each person in the group can have their own full set of all of the items, of all of the 16 vials, or all of the specialty items, whatever they are. And you, when you spread that cost out, it makes it much, much less, and it's way cheaper than prescriptions. So this is something to think about, and I'm sure Lynn might have some thoughts in this area. Sure. Um, when we send you the plasma energy station, this is actually in an almost ready to mail format where we put the 16 vials in between some pad, foam pads and then wrapped them all up with bubble wrap. When you get them, you're going to put them on the outside of your container. Now your container is going to be obviously much bigger than this. So uh, we'll use our imagination here and say that this is a three gallon container. And you can take your vials and you can place them around the perimeter of the container. If it's on a busy counter, and I recommend that you get these containers that have spigots so that you use this water all the time. Make it your go-to place for your drinking and cooking water. Now, you can put all of these around the perimeter. Um, some people have made like a vinyl sleeve with little individual pockets to put the vials in. Some I saw one container that somebody sent me and it had a large inset inside the container for ice cubes and what they did is they put all their plasma energy station vials inside and that's perfect. Yeah. Because mostly what you want is uh, clear glass or clear plastic so the plasma energy can travel. You don't want to use anything opaque, you don't want to use stainless steel, you don't want to use crockery. In the winter time, we don't send this version. Because we live where it may get to 20 below at night, we're going to send out these BPA-free vinyl con uh, plastic containers, and they're going to be, um, instead of 16, there will be four individual containers that contain the entire four sets. So container one would be vials one through four. Container two will be vials five through eight and so forth. So that's what you'll get in the winter time. If you live overseas or outside of the country, the plasma energy station water is used to completely saturate these um, patches they're completely dried and then they're encased in plastic bags with plastic packing tape so that they're very sturdy. Then they can go on the outside. Now when you go to make these for those of you who have shared in the purchase or maybe to somebody who lives in another city, you can take your station water and you can make vials from it. 
But if you already have the 16 vials and, and your station water is complete with everything, you can just send them one larger vial, right? Right. Yeah. And you could also send them a set of these. So while we're talking about this, Paul, which one of these between this and this and a, the set of 16 here or these, which has the, the best strength on it? Well, they're all the same because they all came from the same source. Okay, so, and when they duplicate, so let's say there's um, six of you who went in together to purchase some of the items and you're going to make six sets. Are all six sets going to have the same quality of energy? Yes, they will. Okay. And does this energy wear out? It doesn't wear out. There's no expiration date. It'll last longer than we will. Okay, so that's the way you can set that up. Now, we're doing this video in August of 2019. And if you go to our website, plasmaenergysolution.com, you'll see that we have a special right now where you can order 10 vials. And normally I have a special where I priced 8 vials for $427. And I do not care if you take the most expensive vials that we have and use those as your order. I know you're going to save a couple hundred dollars and that's okay. And we have, <clears throat> that's our 8 vial package when you go to our website. We also have a 12 vial package and we also have what we call the Plasma Pantry which is a 25 vial package. So you can look at any of those and see what's appropriate for you and or your group that wants to get together with this. And I really would encourage doing this. Um, do you think we live in somewhat uncertain times, or is that my imagination? Uh, I would say it is uncertain times. If you, whenever you watch the news, it's just kind of like, oh man, what's next? You know. So uh, the times are not uh, stable, to put it mildly. They don't quite feel that way, do they? No. <laughs> and the other thing that I do recommend to people, <clears throat> if you put the plasma energy in some small containers, like maybe little Carmex jars or little travel size plastic jars, and bury them around the perimeter of your property, what is that going to create, Paul? That'll create a dome effect over the property in, inside of the perimeter, uh, a plasma field that, that has a great influence on the inside of, uh, of that area. Okay, and I did write a blog. If you'll look at the blogs on our website, look for the November of 2017 blog that I did on Hurricane Maria and Dominica Island because it shows that dome effect where one property was completely protected within um, a certain radius of a plasma energy jar that had been placed in a garden and, and the energy had been used very generously throughout the yard and the home. And that home was completely untouched when 90% of the island was destroyed and even tool sheds and, and vegetation outside of that dome effect on that home were also destroyed. So that would be something interesting for you to see. And is there anything else you'd like to add to this, Paul? I think that's it. Uh, just wanted to mention the affordability aspect and the general approach to health and well-being. Just trying to eliminate some of the confusion over all of the, the different aspects of plasma energy. All right, well thank you very much for watching and be sure again to see our website plasmaenergysolution.com 
And if you feel you've gotten any value from this, give us a big thumbs up and share this with your friends and relatives. And if you wish to have notification of upcoming videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to the button. And thank you very much for your attention. We appreciate your time.